I'm here with uh, Lee Coons and Crew Ennis, the uh, uh, directors of Deliver Us. You did Deliver Us uh, quite the movie. Um, <laughs> uh, Crew, I see. Uh, so, Lee, you've directed a couple of movies, and Crew, this is your first one. But you two have worked on a lot of stuff together. Crew, why was this the first one that you directed? Or, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll start there. Well, it's been a... Um like Leroy wrote the other stories and they were, they were something he was passionate about telling directing is, has always been my long-term goal. And uh, this project just fit. Like I grew up, you know, in the church. And so I had a, a point of view outside of uh, Catholicism, Leroy's Catholic grew up Catholic that, you know, added something to the story. And then I think that um, I really wanted to, you know, see if, I could, I could do this. Like I, you know, everybody thinks they can direct until it's there, you know, it's like, Oh, can you, do you really have a cinematic language? Do you, can you really tell this story in a way that, you know, does it justice? And based on our last film, Leroy, let me uh, edit it or asked me to edit it and I edit it. And um, after that, he, he's like, okay, um, come do this with me. And so that's, yeah. that's how, how it happened. And, I'm so grateful for the opportunity. And I think we really showed, uh, showing everybody what we can do. Yeah. And Lee, uh, like how, a better movie. How, how bad did he screw it up this time? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I hate to admit. <laughs> uh, just I, uh, 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 but, but you guys, you guys have worked, uh, you guys have worked together a lot. Uh, Lee, like how, how did you guys come together and what, what kind of keeps your uh, collaborations going? Yeah, I think this, so this one movie that we, it's our sec, it'd be our second movie, but it, we shot it over 12, 12 years and it was kind of a necessity thing. We were so young at certain times and we could get a little bit of money here and then we'd have to wait and then we get a little bit, bit more money there and then we get a little bit more. And uh, so it kind of turned into a boyhood and the fact that crew was editing it and uh, ha and it was producing it and doing so much with it, we developed this kind of codependency on each other to make films. And I knew that if you if I brought him in to co-direct with this one, it would be a much better film than I could do by myself. And also a launching point for our company so that we'll each be uh, directing our own films, but we'll also like serve a producer role and kind of fill up uh, as much as we can for each other, the, like the skills that we know that we're stronger in as filmmakers, you know? Yeah. And you said you said you both uh you both are uh religious or were religious or currently, but uh not my business, but um th this definitely has a lot of uh you know, obviously there's antichrist in Christ, but I think one of the big questions about this is look, one of these kids is a antichrist, yeah, but am I gonna kill a child? <laughs> That's pretty heavy stuff. Uh what what kind of uh went into telling that story? Yeah, so probably the three of us together, uh, since I'm Catholic, Cruz Christian and Isaac's Jewish, we're we all we're all religious and we all believe in God and we have a different idea of what God is. And so then we came together to tell this story using a lot of other different theology and uh you, you say mythology as well all tied together to 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 explore the themes that we're interested in. So it's not like dogmatic in any kind of sense. And there's a lot of freedom in that way. And it's, I hope doesn't, then it doesn't come across preachy and it's, uh, it's really just the story. I just kind of got the, got the feeling of like, it, kind of similar to you here of, uh, oh, would he go back in time and kill baby Hitler? Like we all know what Hitler's done. We all would have liked to have killed adult Hitler, but like with, with a baby in front of you, that, that kind of uh, recontextualizes everything, I think. Yeah. Well, Leroy, there's the thing, um, like the, the original title of the script was Kill the Child. And so it's tasked just like that. But uh, Leroy, tell him about the reason why, what, I don't, Kim, is this, would we be giving away the film about talking about? Uh, we, you know what? If you want to save it to the end, uh, we can cut that out for a spoiler if you want. Cool. So um, yeah, I, I, I guess we'll move on. Uh, yeah. So what, what kind of got you guys into filmmaking? Like uh, crew, you have, you have now a director credit, uh, you have writing credit, producer credit, and Lee, uh, you have uh, similar. Uh, what, what's like your favorite part of filmmaking and what kind of, of all the jobs, what's your favorite of all those? I think I like writing the most. You get, a, you get to be at home, you get to go to coffee shops, you get to spend time with your family. <laughs> <laughs> filmmaking is so rewarding and I love directing and doing it. 
So I don't, I don't know if the other stuff would hit as hard if I didn't have that to look forward to, but the day to day, that's probably, you know, cause it can be whatever you want it to be. You know, your imagination is like, it's perfect in your mind until you, you make it. And then it's, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, writing is really hard for me. It's like painful. But I guess the more painful, the better it has been. That's been the uh, consistency. But my favorite is being on set. And when you have an idea of something and then you see it come into fruition, there is the only thing better is whenever someone makes it better, you know, like collaborating with people you respect and care about, like Leroy and Isaac, like when you have an idea of something and then they have their idea of it. And then when you put them together, it creates something even better. There's no drug i found in life that like hits like that you know i think that uh that that would be my favorite and then post uh sound whenever you get to like put in score and sound design and working with brent kaiser who did our movie he's a bit of a you know he's a savant a genius i wouldn't say it to his face but he's a genius <laughs> um you know he did everything everywhere all at once honey boy he's like the indie guy and he's super sought after and he took the time to do our film and make it what it is and when you're a, like me and Leroy being a part of that and seeing it come alive in sound is also just such a rewarding experience so it'd probably be those two yeah, yeah. What, what what are some examples you said like uh you're on set and like the, the like the collaboration what, what's like some really really great collaboration moments that you can think of I, I i couldn't even think of an example really but uh just, just a time where you collaborated with someone that was like you, I had this idea and then they ran with it and I, I could not have made that better if I tried. <laughs> what about your tally system? Remember, because the three of us, if one of if we disagreed, Isaac was, if you were keeping a tally system on who was right after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't go great. Tally didn't. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, I think uh, that's really funny. We There was this one scene in the movie. Um, it was at the factory and we had a couple homages in it and we each had an idea. And then there was um, it's very serendipitous where this factory came available. We were able to shoot. And then us on location, like altering the scene with and then putting together each of us, how we saw it, like the script. And then what we got out of it is like such a monumental moment in the film. That's kind of what I was referring to earlier when I said that, you know, whenever someone else's idea merges with yours, like I, I think collaboration is the best part about filmmaking and you have to make a conscious choice to collaborate and not to concede. You don't ever want anybody to give an idea and then like you change their idea in a way where they feel like they have to give up on it other than like seeing your side and your point of view and um, you seeing theirs and their point of view. And then what you ultimately come out with is amazing or great or better than you ever thought it could be. Maybe what you're saying too is we're, we're since we trust each other, we have the ability to then hyper-focus on one thing. And usually when you're making a film, you can only, you know, you have to hyper-focus on many things at once. It becomes impossible. And so that what we were able to do. Well, uh, I'll end on this before we get back to the uh, the spoiler thing. To ask everyone, we have a what's in the box segment. We have people put movies in the box that uh, they think are, that's important to them or they feel is underseen. They wish more people would watch it. What's a movie that each of you would like to put in the box? Ooh. Ooh. The Mission with Robert De Niro. And uh, Liam Neeson is actually in it. And uh, A Hidden Life. Uh, those are just the two that are under scene that are kind of inspired me a bit on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. crew. Well, first would be, I saw Possession for the first time in prepping for this movie. Leroy sent it to me for actor exercise, what they are going to be doing. And that one still haunts me. Um, Possession. And then, uh, can they be a popular movie? Does it need to be super, like, could it be like Rosemary's no, Baby? Be whatever you want. Then I'd say Rosemary's Baby. This is your movie to put in the box, not mine. Oh, Rosemary's Baby. All right. Like, that style, I don't think anyone, there's been a couple times that people have matched that, uh, um, I think that level of artistry, especially in this genre. And I think that one, that'll be around forever. Rosemary's Baby. All right. Well, Lee crew, thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll get to that spoiler here in a second. But uh, you guys are great and really enjoyed the movie. Uh, Deliver Us is available in theaters on demand and digital September 29th. And hope everyone goes to watch it. <laughs>